Nightmare on Sus Street was Impostor's fourth beta testing that took place on Friday the 13th of January. I couldn't miss it for the world, especially as it marked the one year anniversary of my YouTube channel. On the 14th of January 2022 I uploaded my very first clip on YouTube and the funny part is that I didn't even mean to. I wanted to share some close beta gameplay on Twitter but the recording was too large. So I decided to upload that video without any editing or commentary directly on YouTube. Little did I know that it would gain over 1500 views in 24 hours and spark this incredible journey. But this trip down memory lane is due for another video. Let's sharpen our knives and go over what updates have been introduced in Impostors. First and foremost, graphics. I mean seriously, look at those graphics. Gameplay wise, even if we didn't get any new maps, there have been added a couple of new mini games and I have to mention Snake. Even the phone resembled the old and sturdy Nokia 3310, so I sometimes spent longer than necessary playing it even if that meant risking getting ambushed. Another fun easter egg was the cookie cutter mini game which was inspired by Squid Game, but players had to follow the shape of a shrimp. Mini game this, mini game that, let's just cut it. I know what 98% of you are eagerly waiting for, showcasing imposters in action. It is by far the most addicting loop in the game and everyone is praying they get the role whenever a new match begins. I got lucky and was selected twice in a row each time managing to score 6 kills. To make things even more dynamic, the Game Master can now enable the More for sub role, which is a new ability added for imposters. This allows them to temporarily shapeshift into a random innocent, making them look sus. Deception is the name of the game, but as my favorite Zerg Parasite would put it, you need to improvise, adapt, overcome. I personally have a thing for compulsive door closing and befriending solo innocents. Not many survive, especially when you couple this with a generator failure. Speaking of generators, innocents take this as an advice. Stop stacking on top of each other. When bodies start falling, you can't tell who is sus. Being a social deduction game, the more you get to know the other players, the more fun you all have, so I suggest sticking around for multiple games in the same lobby. On that note, hype and awareness are slowly building up, especially as people like Bryce and Altcoin Daily and CryptoStash have all started actively participating in beta tests. I for one am eagerly waiting for the next beta testing and ultimately the public release. If you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.